Hello everyone, this is Sunil and in this video we are going to study how we can determine the stability of a system when a given characteristic equation is given. For example, let's our characteristic equation is, it, is defined by SSQ plus 4.5 SS square plus 3.5 S plus 1.5 is to 0. Here we have to use Ruth Horvitz criteria to determine the stability of the system. So what we have to do? We have to do in a way that to make all the powers of S in a vertical manner. So S is Q, then S is square, then S to the power 1 here, then S to the power 0. Then if you can see what coefficient of S Q that is 1, then S square coefficient is 4.5. Then S coefficient is 3.5, then 1. So what is the S Q coefficient? 1. Then S coefficient is 3.5. We'll write like this. Then S square coefficient, we'll write like this 4.5. And then S to the power 0 coefficient is 1.5. So in order to determine this value, we have to cross multiply this two value divided by minus 1.4.5. So you get this value 3.17. Similarly, if you want to get this value, we have to cross multiply these two things and minus 1.37. So we will get 1.5. Then we have to see in the first form of is there any sign changes or there or not. So if you can see there is no sign changes. So if there is no sign changes that means it is a stable system which means that number of roots in the right half of S plane is 0. So definitely it is a stable system. Now let us go to another example. The characteristic equation is given by s to the power 5, 6 s to the power 4, 3 s s cube, 2 s s square plus s plus 1 is equal to 0. We have to also make it in the same arrangement to the power of s. So s to the power 5, s to the power 4, s s cube, s s square, s to the power 1 and s to the power 0. So we will arrange the coefficient of power of s. So coefficient of s to the power 5 is 1, then s2 is 3 then s to the power 1 is 1. Similarly, 6 to 1. So we can get the value like this. We have to cross multiply, divide by minus 1.6, we will get this value. Then 1 into 1 minus 6 into 1, divided by minus 1, point, minus 1 by 6, we will get 0 0.8. Like this, we can, got, we can get these values also. Now, as you can see here, in the first column, there is a sign changes. And how many sign changes are there? Two sign changes. If you can see here, there is one sign changes here to here and there is one sign change, sign change here to here. So there are two sign changes in the first column. So we can conclude here that there are two sign changes in the first column means that means there are two poles in the right half of S, S plane. So that means this system is unstable. Thank you.